have the right, you can't have too much butter. You can have a little too much salt, but it's hard to. It's too much. It's, it's, it's on the high end. Can't, can't really? kind of it's good to me right now. It's what? He's kind of a hater on the salt situation. Right? I like it. Come on, kid. Get back to it. Um, what a night. 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 Um, <clears throat> I think you, most people know, or at least the guys in our locker room or around me know that I, I I coach with passion, and I coach with some emotion. And uh, tonight was one of those nights that um, I don't know how to put it in the right perspective. Um, just a pretty damn cool evening. Um, you know, to raise a banner, um, have those guys care enough, care enough to fly 13 hours. Trent's getting on a, on a plane tomorrow. He's got practice Sunday. Okay, and um, Alfonso Plummer here one year. Became an all-league player. Played a game in Mexico City last night. Um, Kofi, getting ready to go to Japan. We all know, you know Kofi's um, legacy. His banner will hang. And, you know, Demonte Williams, been playing in Belgium, had an injury, um, and we'll go, get ready to go back. But for those guys to be here, um, for that to be their priority, that's why I do it. That's why we do this. We don't do it for any other reason. Yeah, we, unfortunately, you guys gotta have something to write about if we win or lose. Um, I got in this 36 years ago for nights like tonight. And to see young people create a memory uh, five years worth, to be honest, for Trent and DeMonte. And um, the, the video is incredible. I mean, that's, that's, what this, that's what this shit's all about. Pardon my language, don't put that in print. That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. And um, so really cool night. Then we have to flip it, play a game um, that started off really ugly. Um, I thought Jay Epps came in and did a tremendous, tremendous job of changing our energy. Uh, we did not have a great shoot around today. Uh, I thought we were a little flat, maybe the distractions, uh, maybe a little complacency. Um, I don't know, I, I just wasn't very, we weren't very sharp. Uh, and then I, I thought we played again, almost like we did against Quincy. Just too quick, unselfish, didn't execute. Um, everything was a three. Um, we never cracked the seal of, of their defense because we never passed it enough to do that. Um, Jaden entered, got us going, um, and then I thought Dane was just was was outstanding. And um, you know, finally got enough sense to keep. I just ran one little set, just getting him a little duck in in the second half, and and he was he was dominant. But he's playing so hard, he's keeping the game so simple um, that it's it's amazing how that translates into success. But, um, you know, I told our guys after the game, you know, it's not just about UMKC. It's about the games that you have down the road. And it's about the, the process and, and, and practicing the right way and playing the right way because you just don't flip a switch. And at some point, you're always going to be uh, at the level of your preparation. And today we didn't prepare very well. Uh, mentally, mentally. Uh, and then I just thought we were a little flat. We got it going, uh, but um, all in all, uh, I thought Sky Clark was outstanding. I thought Sky did a tremendous job. Uh, he had five turnovers last game. He had zero tonight. He had five defensive rebounds. Uh, we, I like their two guards. UMKC's two guards are good. And I thought he stepped up for the most part to the challenge uh, on the defensive side. And, and um, you know, we've got, we've got some pretty good guards coming coming at us here in the future. So, um, you know, all in all, we're, we're, we're happy. We've, you know, we got a win. Uh, I thought it, you know, our rebounding effort was, was um, you know, not up to standard, but uh, again, we've got to, we've got to, uh, we've got to do a better job preparing and that's on me.
right here with Jeremy. Brad Bildenhoff, Trent Demonte. Um, those guys had two losing seasons, two banners now. They set the standard. What's your message to the team now about keeping it? Yeah, I mean, I made them all today after a shoot around. You know, I, I, they needed to see that. They needed to see what what that is, what that moment was, what these rings symbolize, and and the fact that the the stadium was full, the arena was full, because they came back there to see them, and that's what makes Illinois special. This this is, I'm telling you, it's. A, I'm so blessed to be the basketball coach here, and, and in front of these fans, and they show up and they they're passionate and they understand. And it's the one thing I can't stand about the transfer portal. The, not everybody gets a home anymore. The place you can call home. And, and those guys do. And I, I told our team that. And it's a lot of hard work. It was a lot of, it was a lot of headaches. Nobody wants to talk about the two losing seasons. You know, every now and then I gotta think about those. And, and, and reiterate that to our players. So I wanted them to en enjoy the moment and understand the moment because that's what the standard is at this program and higher. You know, winning a Big Ten championship, great. great. That's not our ultimate goal here. My, my standards are a lot higher than that. And that's why I get coached with passion. That's why I get upset when we don't play, with, play the game the right way. But. I need our guys to understand that, but it was such an incredible night, and um, one I'll never forget. It was it, tonight's as memorable for me as the celebration on the court because of of you have you've had time to reflect and you see what it means to those to those guys now, and it's it's really cool. Coach, it seemed like a seemed like different lineups gelled a little bit more than others. Uh, is that a, a work in progress trying to find that optimal? Rotation and mix of guys, uh, you know, and especially with you know with the main event coming up uh, pretty quick here in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, if I could solve it, I would solve it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm becoming it, it's game experience. There's not just you know throw the throw the magic dust out there and say this is the lineup that works. And and you know, we've got young guys. There's going to be some ups and downs. Um, I don't want the ups and downs to be based on offense. I want it to be based on the on the the, the, the defensive mistakes, the defensive intensity, the rebounding, the execution. Um, still searching for that. You know that's about that's the advantage of having a veteran team. You know exactly what you got. Um, Sincere wasn't as good tonight. You know, um, and it was reflective of his of his shoot around. Um, you know, Coleman wasn't as good tonight in terms of making threes, but he got going in the second half. I challenged him at halftime. It's not based on how you shoot the ball. It's based on all the other things that you do. So we're still, Doug, we're still trying to find that. And um, Dane's been extremely consistent, so I'm starting to feel pretty good about that one. Coach, I'd like to go back to Trent. Um, when you got here, Trent uh, had an opportunity to leave, and we were at the press conference, most of us, and he told us he believed in you. And looking back at it, you know, on his career, how important was he to you personally? Thank goodness I made a recruiting trip when I was at Stephen F. Austin to see him. So I had a little bit of a relationship. Um, he at least knew who I was. Um, oh, I mean, you know, the, the great thing about this job is, is not just the, the successes, but it's, it's all the, the they come here as little boys and they leave as men. And it's all the ups and downs and the crap you have to go through to help them and guide them. And, and it's, the, it's the, the nonsense sometimes that 18 year olds make. But you grow through all that. And that's why we do this. I'm just a teacher and you know, basketball is a tool but to, to help them teach. But um, you know, I have so much respect for Trent because of his, of his passion and his love for what he does. And, you know, that's easy to fall in love with as a coach. And, um, you know, I think he made a pretty good decision staying, you know, at the end of the day. I think he's beloved here for, for a lifetime. Coach Dane dropped the name yesterday, Elijah Wan and Duncan, as guys he watches on film in the post. What do you, what do you make of his skill set down there and just how smooth everything comes for him? Wow. 
Good, good thing I'm on, not on social media and didn't read that. Um, Dane's really skilled. Dane, there's not much Dane can't do. He's right hand, left hand. Um, where, where we have to help Dane is by simplifying, uh, not trying to do things too much. When Dane gets in trouble, he tries to overhandle and spin all the time. Um, you know, he can play out on the floor because he can really handle it. Um, but uh, I love the fact he watches those guys because he is that. He's, you know, he's kind of the dancing bear. You know, he's got great, great feet. He's light on his feet. He's got great, great length. Um, and, uh, you know, he's 265 pounds. I mean, when he hits you, you know it. And the thing I've been impressed with is just his tenacity on the glass. And uh, that's been very, very consistent. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a ton. To, he's, he's a ton. I mean, he was really good last year. Kofi had problems with him on, on the scout team. Uh, you know, just because you can't guard one, one shoulder. He can go either way. So... I uh, hope he continues to watch him, and uh, you know, hopefully, before this is all over, he's uh, puts himself in that category or close. Right, coach. You touched on Coleman a little bit. You know, has showing that maturity that maybe he didn't show a year ago. Tonight, RJ again didn't shoot the ball well, but his body language is better than it was Monday, and it seemed like he you was noticed? a little harder. You yeah, notice so, that? So, uh, is is that a, is that the maturation process? Are we, sure. are we seeing that right in front of us? Sure. Absolutely, absolutely, and and what they don't understand is that people see that. You know, they see a bad body language, or they see a frustration, or a a, um, a, a challenging moment, and and their reaction to that. And uh, you know, it's where I O excel. Just next play, next play, bad call, next play. You know, and and um, uh, RJ, you know, he was pressing. You know, he, he's 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 been. He's had days in practice where he hasn't missed a shot for three or four practices straight, and all of a sudden it didn't go in. And it's not about that for him. You know, it's 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 simplifying. It's going to rebound. You know, he was an offensive rebound juggernaut last year. Uh, you know, it's it's taking pride in guarding, and the game will find you. And and with him, it's just maturation. He's going through a tough tough spell, and and uh, did some good things tonight, and was and was better. I mean, with Jaden, after the first game, you toured the field more aggressively offensive. I need a little pick of spots like he does tonight. How much extra does that kind of give you? Well, I'm going to make him the other team's best guard every single day on the scout team because he was terrific to yesterday and today. We couldn't guard him. And I think that maybe gave him a little bit of confidence to just go play. And um, so, uh, yeah, you know, Jaden works really hard to try to do the right thing and please everybody. And sometimes you just, that, that can get in your way. And we don't want him to lose his aggressiveness and his assertiveness, and I, I, we saw that tonight. Was it sort of an interesting juxtaposition to celebrate last year's team, have those guys back, and then go out and play an entirely different style of basketball? I haven't thought about it. Um, that's probably way too complicated for my simple mind, but um, he, he's, uh, it was, it was, that's like senior night sometimes. Like, I, I, they're hard. They're just emotionally. And then, you know, we have to play with energy and emotion. And, and that's why Sincere's had so much success in our first two or three is his energy. Um, I didn't think we had that. And maybe you sit for a long time, you go through the ceremony, rush through a quick scouting report in the locker room in about a minute and a half, and there you are back out there and hardly had time to warm up again. So those moments are challenging, but um, yeah, we are different. I, I hadn't thought about it too much, but uh, I tried to get back to last year and just throw the ball to, to, to Dane like I did to Kofi. Joey, you had another game that Matt didn't play quite a long stretch in the second half to close. Is there, is there like a minute count for him? Is there anything going on with that? Or No, he needs to guard. He needs to guard and, and, and you know, it's it's, when I'm finding a group that's playing well together, I'm, stay, I'm, I'm, I'm staying with it. I'm not trying to be over, over creative. And Matt's going to be fine. Matt's going to be uh, Matt is a really talented guy, as I'm just telling you. And he's, he's, he's got a, um, you know, he's finding his way. You know, it's a different system, one he was not a part of for four years. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just taking him a little bit. And, and he's going to be really, really a good player for us as we move forward because he's really talented. 
Coach, big, big differential between threes in the first half and the second half. I think only seven uh, three-point attempts in the second half. Was it was that because they're not going in, or is it a playing style thing where you you want them more in attack mode? Well, I thought Dane got pretty good shots, so we were going to throw the ball to him a whole bunch. And and I just told told our team, I said we're going to run, we literally ran the same play every trip. And we just played off the two or three different options off of it. Most of them were, were to Dane and, um, you know, wasn't overly complicated. And it's amazing when you simplify the game sometimes. The shots we did get from three I thought were, were, were good ones. And uh, uh, just we just have to learn that a, a three contested with 20 on the shot clock is a really bad shot. And we, did, we took a lot of those. I think we're trying to get, get by that. Derek? The first half, you seem to give the guys a lot of freedom offensively. How are you, how are you working through trying to make sure they're not it's not too structured and constrained versus letting them create? Yeah, and again, I think it goes back a little bit to what Doug said. You know, we, we've got to find that mix. Um, we never cracked their defense in the, in the first half. I mean, it was once it was five on five, it was um, – uh, and we have, we have not done that in any game, including our secret scrimmage. Against a really good team, we cracked it, and uh, but we just got impatient. And I mean, the ball never got below the free throw line, and, and so pointed effort is then I'm going to call some actions to do that, and uh, then Dane just got going, and and we've got to find him, and we've got, we got to maximize his minutes when he's on the court. Brent Bruce Weber was here, got a standing ovation from the crowd. Um, what's your relationship like with him? What was that like for you to? See a guy who had success and then not get that kind of reaction from the crowd. We should. My goodness, what he did here was remarkable. I mean, he's 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 a heck of a ball coach. Uh, he did an unbelievable job at my alma mater, one that I'm uh, extremely pl proud and invested in in terms of sweat equity. Um, you know, I always followed him. I've got uh, tremendous respect for his success at every stop he's made. And uh, you know, to have him back in the Big Ten is a is a is a great thing. I think he's extremely knowledgeable. I haven't heard him yet on TV, um, but uh, you know, there's they're not going to find anybody any more knowledgeable than him. And um, you know, my goodness, I mean, what he what he did here is is um, really elite, and it's something I'm chasing. You know, I want to I want to win the last one though, and uh, but it's 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 pretty. Pretty cool that, and again, it's what makes this job great is, is our fans, our people, and, and uh, I'm, I'm happy for Bruce to be to be back. He got to go through oven today, and um, you know, great human being who's a terrific coach. Uh, yeah. Coach, um, in, talking about the shot selection again, you know, you're, it's only been two games, but your average possession length is like 14 seconds. That's down like four seconds from last year. Is that too quick, or is that can you talk about scoring seven seconds and faster? Or is it Kind of again, trying to strike that balance. No, I'm not as worried about that. I'm worried about the under seven seconds being that we get out and run. Uh, I don't know what our numbers were. There were 21 points under seven seconds the other night in the Eastern game. Um, those, I, I, I'm all for it. We know, you know, threes, layups, or free throws. And um, but what I am discouraged by and frustrated with is is then the, that next round. I don't want guys turning down shots. I don't tell guys to not take shots. We've got to grow together so we take the right shot. And um, um, sometimes the next pass is a better shot than the one that, that I have. And, and, and that's, you know, we're still feeling our way through that. And, and so we'll, we'll, I'm not as worried about that as I am, um, you know, a few other things. But we're, we're, we'll, we'll get that handled. Based on the joint. One more about Trent. Did you know that video? I'm guessing you did. That video was coming, and I guess what was the importance of giving him his own moment like that here before he goes back overseas? I know it was coming. I saw it yesterday. I wish I hadn't. Um, damn, Joey sent it to me. Um, so I watched it last night with actually with my wife, and that was a 10 minute tearjerker for her. But. Um, um, I wanted him to have his moment because I'm not sure his jersey's going up there. And that's the truth. Um, pretty special young man. 
in, 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 in my book. And, and, a, and a great player who's probably come as far from the start to the finish, maybe as any player I've been around. You know, when you want to bring out the Eastern and the Tears to, to one of the all-time greats here. And they read off all of his records. I don't even know him. But he needed that moment. And uh, I think our fans needed to know um, what that cat's all about and ultimate winner.